Right? Looks like. Wait. Is it? No. Wait. Uh, no. Wait. That should be mid tiny, right? Wait, mid yeah, you're back. right. How good is mid tiny versus TA though? Shouldn't he suffer? The term, right? Yeah. Um, besides, I guess the big oh, question of yeah. just like Nisha or mid one. Of course, mid one just he's the Ember player. But at the same time, it's like TA is not necessarily one of those heroes that you really think of when you consider a carry player hanging towards that mid lane. And yeah, we'll see. I didn't even know that Tiny had a taunt now. He Look does, that. yeah. That the was in the end. Indeed, that Nisha TA. I mean, the last time he played mid one or the Ember, see, mid one Ember, they're synonymous. Um, the last time he played the Ember that I could see was about 11 months ago from okay. Nisha. So, so no Ember you know, for him. You just got to assume that it's mid one. I mean, come on. This is the guy that sure, first picks Ember and builds yeah. an Eon disc and somehow makes that meta for a little bit, you know, about a year ago. Well, but, let's uh, see. We'll, see. we'll see how Nisha plays in the middle on his TA. It is going to be up against, as the battle said, the Topson Tiny. A good old mid Tiny from Topson. Yeah, some uh, some mysteries around what hero would they get um, left for him. Of course, they banned out that Monkey King, which was looking good versus the Ember. But now, uh, the Tiny, just a hero who has gone in so many changes um, over the past couple of years here. As we already have a fight breaking out here with that naked axe. And once again, of course, Sokushka. On Jakiro. Had a pretty good game last game. On it. Certainly had a good impact for the team. This awesome. might be my favorite cosmetic of all time. Well, the axe. I, it's just so good. I mean, the portal cube was good, but now we just have a... a there's just this oh, yeah, naked the portal, guy the running cube around was slapping good. people. Like, the question is, is this going to get topped by the uh, invoker persona? No, that, that's if that ever question. comes out, you know, we're still waiting <laughs> game. I want, I want it. I don't want to play with your invoker, so that that, also that is works very true. Well. I don't think I think I have like a 27% win rate on invoker. It's not good. It's not good. Uh, well, good thing uh, you weren't playing last game, and he's not in this game anyway. That's so true. You'll we'll see our lane setups here for everyone as uh, as legendary Aegis engraved Seb Magnus will yes. be facing versus mid one. Let's see what he can do. This has got a couple of great empower targets. Tiny in a jug. What more could you wish for? So and, uh, they get those big combos, and you know, the Shakira follow up to a good RP. It's there as well for OG. It's also like you think about these Oracle players, and I think a lot of people tend to go towards the position fives. But Jerax has just been incredible on the Oracle um, over the past couple of months here, and probably the most standout player, honestly, and really the only person who's bringing it out on the four roll. So time for him to shine once again here. We'll see how much I can get out of the lane up, up on the top as Seb. Should have a good shot at getting a good amount of farm against this, this, this Omni Knight Ember Spirit safe lane. Bottom lane, Sokushka giving you up so a bit of a rundown. He's going to have a dual breath again in a minute. The mid lane at the moment, Topson three for one. Nisha seven for five. So Nisha with the power of the TA is getting a very, very nice lead against that Tiny in the middle lane. Yeah, I mean, Tiny here also with no armor, too, so has to be a, a bit worried about uh, just all of the right clicks from a TA. Always have to be concerned, uh, not just from her splash and on to you. Seb CS, yeah, 7 for 3. Mid 1, 4 for 0. Seb definitely having the greater time. And it's 2 versus 2 on the top. Very hard, ready for two new plays to be made. They are going to try, actually, for Seb. Mid 1 falling pretty low. Seb, he's going to be fine. Another that purified place bringing him down, but the heal... It is working in favor of mid one indeed with that Heavenly Graces. He'll be fine. Jarek's unable to nuke him down low enough. And the heals only end up benefiting mid one. So mid one will be fine. Seb still very low, hanging around. He's got the three tangos. Just have to be careful of sort of the slight plays that mid one can come out with. Oh, he's playing a dangerous game yeah. here, though, on Seb. So it's low. Very low. At the same time, though, in the mid lane, you've got a, a DDTA here, too. So I'm sure Thompson playing very cautious here, and partially why he's still a little behind there on the CS. Yeah, his levels, his game is going to be slowed down uh, at the moment in this, on the amount of denies Nisha can get. Bottom lane, Anna, getting good farm. Once again, a bit more pressure this time for him on the lane. Yeah, Zion uh, Yapsaw sitting down here. Two tangos left for him too, so has to be a little bit cautious here because it looks like Yapsaw and, uh, and Zai still pretty high in terms of the resources and the spam. Saksha even forced to do his own run back home here. So this is the time where he's going to be vulnerable there on the Juggernaut. We'll see, obviously, with Jarex, as you say, it's a bit of a different pace of game. Nothing uh, in terms of these sort of cross-map plays going to be coming out early. The lanes are going to remain pretty static from both sides. They try to secure their cause a safe farm. Yeah, we don't really have anyone that rotates. No. I mean, the Lion, I guess, is the big one. 
But you don't tend to set up those big aggressive plays until really you're level 6. But we do have ourselves another Templar Assassin game, so of course we have to be concerned about those Ancients. And uh, for Secret, uh, they have this Lion playing around the bottom lane, and Axe also has the double stout and the Ring of Health already, so there are moments now where if they wanted to, you could see Zai maybe starting to cut the waves a little bit just to get the free farm, and that gives room for Yapsor to perhaps get a couple stacks off there too. As uh, the Radiant will scan to see if there's anyone covering that bottom rune, and uh, they'll realize that someone was there, so no point going down there. Checking it was an Arcane rune there for Yapsor. So we'll be able to turn back to the lane. Keep that pressure on Anna. As, as you say, those tangos now gone. Just a stick that you can rely on. Be dragged a little bit to the side, but so not quite able to get close enough to get the follow ups done. Can yeah. turn towards Sokska with a bit of harassment. Bold attempt there from uh, Zai to see if they can make something happen on Anna there. But without that regen, Anna could could be bullied out. Especially with Yapso able to keep the mana low, makes it hard for Anna to to potentially rely on things such as the healing ward. Yeah, Jarek's even smoking from home now too, just to try and get to this bottom lane as fast as he can, because he wants to be here for the rune fight, but it's not going to be quick enough. Topson is here, the Berserk's call won't quite catch on to him, so then it can now turn and get the hits traded back to him. Anna is able to run around and get the bounty rune. See down bottom now with the Blade Fury, they can try towards Zai. Right. Jarek's is here as well with the root, and that will be the setup required for first blood. There you go, the smoke paid off. It was just in time there to help just guarantee there wouldn't be a kill back on the Topson. So, cost you smoke, but uh, I'll call that one worth it there. And the group shrine post bounty rune fight, as we're so used to seeing. And they secure those bounties with that play as well. OG. Still free farm continues for Nisha in the middle. So TA is going to hit those early item timings at this rate. Without any further contest, only Topson that's ever coming back towards the mid, and even when he's there, that's not a lot of oh, worry for Nisha. Seb go, dude. I mean, this is a, an Ember of a four level six, so of course those would be a little bit cautious about his positioning. It takes three tower shots there, so he needs a little bit of help from the Omni, but the constant and power harass bottom, hurting him. Bottom lane, look who's sending up again. Jerax was still around. The root and that extra bit of burst damage from the Purifying Flames has allowed OG to claim another kill down on the bottom lane. And whilst this is happening, as you know, Seb, he's alone. Mid one, obviously very hard to take down because of the back of a puppy, but at the same time, these two heroes struggling to to really punish the fact that Seb's alone on this top lane now. He can be left here and feel pretty safe as long as he has that skewer for safety. And we got the Jug coming now too. That's Anna. He's gonna tag him out. Yeah, has the XP advantage on mid one. So we'll be hitting the six before mid one does. And there's obviously that threat of a, an Omni Slash. And early Omni Slashes can still be very effective when you have the, the Empower of the Magnus. Still has to be cautious about this trade of the HP, of course, with the Purifying Flames, or rather the uh, Purification. <laughs> purifying Flames, of course, uh, sitting on the side of OG this game, so everybody's getting nice and pure here. Jerax uh, still just chilling in that bottom lane, the two supports together. And uh, Secret, not quite sure what to do, it feels like. like do, you, do you mirror the rotations here? Do you want to bring the Ember down bottom, or are we just going to have Zai versus two supports? Looks like Thompson wants to try and come in and force a kill here. He does have that vision. Zai is starting to farm the stack. See if they get the toss back onto Yabso. And he goes into the root combo. Perfect follow-up there from Jerax. As he catches the two of them, he's going to be able to keep himself alive oh, as well. Nice. Thompson with the setup. Jerax with the perfect follow-up. Yep, and that lane ward helping to set it all up, right? You know, they, they thought maybe they were being a little bit sneaky there and just free to do these pulls and everything. But uh, the dynamic duo of Zai and Yabso pay for it here. We've got to look out for that. This this sort of come the toss into the the easy sort of two man route from the from the Oracle. It's it's a fantastic setup for OG to play around. That can easily secure them there these early kills. Azana now does have that six. Has been left though on his own as Seb does move over towards the neutrals. Yeah, he's jungling and then you got a support camping the bottom lane so that uh, Jarek can get something there. But uh, big purification won't be enough damage there. He's going to TP home. Help for the TP back and get the full refuel. <laughs> Even Sasha is now in the mid lane too, so lots of uh, economy being spread out here on the side of OG. But of course, uh, although they're spreading across many heroes, you've got Nisha taking the majority of it over on the side of Secret. Um, currently not seeing a whole lot in terms of ancient stacks though. For our Templar, or our Axe really, of course. We saw that early ring of health, so with the Vanguard, it could be something that you'd opt for on Zai too. A little bit harder to, of course, get the um, the ancient camps a little bit more reliably when you're playing on that dire side TA compared to the radiant side TA. I'd say she's uh, a bit, uh, quite a bit stronger there in the early game. A very close start. 
I'm rolling farm just less than 1k. Minute, about eight minutes in. <laughs> Thompson's even controlling the area so they can't get up here for any stacks. And uh, yeah, you see Nisha moves in here in time. Thompson will just have to bail out here and let her get the stack off. So the ancienting begins. And Thompson can, you know, feel confident to go around with those phase boots. Arcane Rune as well. He's feeling very confident. Just hanging around and trying to disrupt the flow of Secrets Farm. He's keeping two, two cores occupied here. And they, they don't know. I mean, are there heroes smoking in here? Is this guy truly alone right now? He is just teasing them, oh getting a bit God. of a look in on the XP. Uh, yeah, getting the XP, but not getting in the gold there, even with the avalanche. I oh, see. That's Jarex. He's headed over to Zion. A little too tanky to do too much to. <laughs> Thompson not wanting to commit. I think he still just wants to stay close He's to the He's going in with, with that arcane. He does have the combo, but Zai into the trees means that Thompson can't quite get on top of him for the full spell combo. Meanwhile, Anna does continue to get the space and farm it. Is even that top lane more open for mid one to continue? And they crack down bottom. They're going to get in again. And Zai, this time, yeah, I mean, quite get burst down this time. The the, the tree wasn't quite there from Topson, so Zai will live. And now Topson could be in a spot above. There's four well, heroes. That, that was secret. greedy. He tried to go in for that one. Yap, so he's got the six as well. So could build up a. A finger buff here. He's speedy tops him with that face boost, though. And in fact, Anna is able to get the kill on mid one. The two of them moved in. Yeah. Him and Seb, I believe, with the RP, gets the kill. Secret will find the finger finish off onto Topson. They'll try and chase Jerex as well. He'll go for the self false promise. Anyone else heading over here? Soshka is not. Is he, he's thinking about coming across, but I think they just have to let Jerex go here. As there's no help for the Oracle. Zai gets the dunk down. Secret get the two kills down bottom. He will lose mid one top. So OG able to at least find some sort of trade. Yeah, so those rotations were well worth it for Secret because they, they saw that they were obviously getting pressured for Zai under the tower, but they knew that the bounty runes were coming up. So they rotate tons of heroes down bottom, but the only thing was that they were setting up up top with what we saw was the Empowered Juggernaut and a Magnus. So they want both of those bounty runes, and they're going to be very happy to RP mid one if it means securing those. And, uh, of course, just getting another kill. So only uh, 80 seconds to have just another uh, Omni Slash, and, of course, he'll just farm away until then. And although you don't really think about Juggernaut necessarily as a, an easy ancient hero with the stacks, I mean, you got the Empower, you got the Healing Ward. On off to, uh, again, a great start here. No, not quite as good as the Slark game, of course, as Nietzsche's still a little now, bit this, this him. time he's actually had to get involved with some heroes turning yeah. up to his lane. But yeah. Seb's not feeding, so there's no, also Seb that isn't. to go for. You know, their combined net worth is probably about the same as it was last game. Definitely. Especially with that kill on mid one. <laughs> he's another Healing Ward. <laughs> Right to the limit there for Ana, but A-OK. -okay. So top Jarex. Coming and show himself, mid bomb. He'll hit the neutrals for now. Cannot risk staying too close to this. Could get caught out by a root play. If he isn't too careful. Does have by his side Zyle as well. The chase from OG did continue in Zyle. Very close to having Blink Dagger, about 1,800 gold towards it. Yeah, and they, they need that, right? Um, some way to uh, kick off these fights, and uh, blinking in a little bit easier with an axe when you have the Omni, but Sasha sets up something here for Ana, but it is an Ember. Oh, he's actually got no spirits. Oh, I mean, he's he had, dead. He had, no, he had no remnants. Yeah. That, that's not something you that, see too often. No, mid one. <laughs> I mean, we talked up his Ember yeah. at the start of the game, but he just walks in the river with no remnants available. He just... You know, whoa, a mid one Taking Ember a bath, dying to a Blade Fury. That's that's a bit of an oof. Yeah, and now Zai. Oh, they got the RP again. He's not dropped it down yet. Couldn't quite get in. See if he wants to go for it anyway. Mass TPs are coming in. Yeah, I don't think this is looking too hot uh, right now. Seb will be fine with the fact that he didn't end up having to use it. And would have not necessarily... Well, I guess they do have Omni Slash. Yep. So probably probably would have got the kill, but oh, it would have been so close. So close to blink too. Just after this wave, he's gonna have it. And not even this wave, he just needs one creep for it. And uh, we saw the smoke get picked up there from Yaps, where he just got the finger back. He wants to go for a kill so bad here. Let's see if they can get the the opening onto Seb. As they've stunned from the trees, Yapsor. Starting with a bit of a tease, but yeah, they need the next wave coming through if they want to go for the kill. And they have the vision, so they can time it perfectly. But Seb is retreating. And Jerax, geez, level eight to level eight as well on puppies. So these supports getting a little bit of space here. And now the Deso complete here. So we got Blink on an axe. We got a lion who wants to use his finger again. And we got Deso on a TA. This is the time right now for Secret to go and make something happen. 222 faster than this patch average. Wowzers. Probably yeah. a little bit weird because of the difference between Blink and Deso, but still. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we've seen a few 
few things people are approaching, but yeah, still, nonetheless, very fast timing from, from Nisha. They do have answers though, OG, they've got good save. Obviously, Jarak's being able to offer disarms and, and false promises. A few ways that they can play around any sort of initiation that Secret tried to follow up with the raw physical damage of this Desso TA. Oh, he's got a spirit this time. He has. This time he's prepared. Let's move on. Will get himself out of harm's way, though. OG smoked up behind Dana. Almost certainly sort of waiting, hoping potentially for a, a bit of a bait. Maybe if Zai looks to initiate with his own blink. Not, not an obvious bait or anything, right? Just the, the Juggernaut sitting here with a healing ward and a tier one. Yeah. Yeah, let's see now what's else is. Zai's is still going to jump forward into this. Ice pass down. Seb's going to skew in. This could be a good RP, and it does. Gets the two of them. Anna, he has got the Omni Slash. She's going to be false promised. A little worried that he wouldn't be able to get it off their jacks, but with that help, it will be allowing to do so. Zai taken Ooh. out. They've already got two. They get mid one as well, as Topson's able to combo him down on the side. Nisha's trying to chase. Topson still being chased down in the trees by Yapsil, but Topson turns. Couple of hits with the tree. The heal will keep him alive, but no, it's enough. They've popped him down. They've taken three. Topson in, Jay's used, and Nisha will be able to turn and get the kill. OG still trying to chase a little bit. The roots onto Puppy. But Puppy and Nisha keep the distance. Overall, the OG getting three kills. It was a bait. I mean, you said it, it was a bit of an obvious bait from OG, but Secret effectively still fell for it. Well, I mean, they got the RP up. I actually thought that was going to turn pretty well for Secret, right? But they got just a little bit split there. Now they're going to find another kill back, though. So they got Thompson. Now they got Sashka. So it's not a, a total loss here. But, of course, they did lose their Tier 1 tower, so all things still coming out in favor of OG. But uh, considering how that wasn't the most synced up fight from OG, this is looking a little worrisome, honestly, for the next engagement. But um, Nisha didn't die. He got farmed. He's close to a Blink Dagger. Zai does get the Blink jump onto Jerax. Quick dunk follow-up. Disarm wasn't quite there in time onto Nisha. Got the meld hit out. Yeah, he's extremely close to Blink now. Every one of these assists just adding up. Mid one now in here. The Tricor in under the tier one. To see what they can get, but Topson straight away in with the combo. They're on top of Nisha, and Nisha's gone. They jump the TA. TA's out of the fight. Now with the skewer forward onto the two of them, slowing both Zion and Mid one down. Can they escape? They're, they're trying their best to run. Puppy is there. He's going to be able to save one of them and pops the help out to Zai, but it's not enough. Zai's dead. Mid one's actually jumped back down towards the river. He'll remnant in, get on top of Topson, but Anna chases down Puppy. He's cleaned up a triple kill. As Anna just getting funneled with gold after gold from these big kills that he's picking up in the fights, the damage that he has with that Empower, allowing him to get easy kills. As OG just, again, the aggression, chasing down Secret, making sure that they respond to any sort of moves Secret try and make. Oh, in the same recent interview, which Sashka swore to never return to playing um, prior to the tournament, he said, yeah, I'm not going to pull a Seb. Well, here we are. Um, he also said that uh, they've changed so much when Ana came back because he's just a different kind of carry player. He is, like, his own breed, he is so aggressive. And in these two games, he is showing that uh, he, he really is. You know, this is not some guy who's going to be on the other side of the map you know, doing his own thing while his team pushes some tier ones and stuff. No, he's getting involved early on. And these are the kind of drafts that really enable that. Because you give him this empower, and even if he spends a little bit of time roaming with the team, he's able to easily catch and climb right back up there, especially when he does get the kills and is 6-0 and 3. But he also just farms these neutrals so quickly. And now has a Manta done here, 17 too. 17 minutes, yeah, and incredibly fast. I mean, it's, it really is it's, it's exciting to watch because you see on the net worth, it's, it's sort of Anna versus Nisha. Now, the Battle of the Quiet Boys. See which yes, ones the ghosts. The ghosts, indeed. These silent ones are the ones you've got to be scared of. We'll see which one's able to come out on top as both have incredible amounts of farm. So you can have the bigger impact, the Nisha TA or the Anna Jug. Game goes on. OG starting to have a bit of a look in towards the Roche, but Thompson he's in with the jump on the mid one. Zai does have the follow up call onto Anna. Blade Fury and Omni Slash are at the availability. There's the GA popped. It's going to wear off soon, though, as Zai's caught in place. Seb, two man RP locks them down. There's the Omni Slash follow up. Zai's dead. The rest of Secret now trying to disengage, but Sokshka, Ice Path laid down, traps both the supports in the river. Yapsaw's caught out. Puppy's going to be chased down as well. The Rook flies in from Jarex. The Blade Fury chased down from Mana. They've taken down the Omni Knight. Three dead once again on Secret. OG winning fight after fight. Uh, you can see the Heavenly Grace. It's helping out in those team fights for the RP because mid one's not being stunned for as long because they're ensuring to try and keep him up. But the second mid one escapes from it, they just say, okay, fine, we'll just kill everyone else. And they just chase down this Lion and this Omni who just don't have any way uh, of surviving out of these engagements. And even if they're not getting the cores here, they're, of course, just instantly going right in towards objectives now for OG with the Healing Ward. They just hop on in here. They have the Sentry down for the trap. Secret's coming over. 
Do they dare? They have the blink from Niji. Yeah, they're going to fight well, Thompson, he's immediately in. He's deleted the players. Yapsul's already gone out of the fight. The Roots could be flying over there towards the Ember mid one. He's able to keep himself out of the range of the Blade Fury. OG, though, stationing onwards. Anna's going to come in with a wraparound. The disarm's there on Tanisha. He's got to back up for now. Roots down to Zai. Zai does manage to dunk down Seb. They've killed off the Magnus. Jumping for Nisha. He's trying to burst them. But Sochka, the Ice Pass laid down. Nisha, he's jumped in potential death. And he has. He's out of the fight. Nisha's dead for 50 seconds. Anna now turns his attention towards Zai. Puppy looking to heal him up. But the Blade Fury from Anna allows him to get out of the harm's way. Mibon has the root onto Topson, but Topson, Avalanche onto Mibon, tosses him back into the hands of the rest of his team. He's got a slider fist. He doesn't have any remnants left out. He gets right clicked down. Sokska Zai? takes him out. Zai jumps in. He wants to feed as well. Seb skewers forward, slows him down. Topson's in with the combo. Zai's dead and gone. And over with the Blade Fury, they'll now turn towards Puppy. Puppy's trying to get away, but the Ice Pass, Sokska traps him up. He will be able to get up to the high ground. OG, do they want to dive any further? They won't. There's a Hex out. They'll back wow. off for now. But each of these fights, OG just coming out on top again and again. A rare sign of uh, discipline there from OG, as they will relax and notice that, yeah, that dive probably not going to be worth it. So amazing plays there. It caused a buyback from Seb, but obviously it was well worth it. So they clean up another four. Um, but they did not secure the Roche, so still something there. that maybe Seeker could opt for. I mean, it is only a, a 2k lead at this point, which is, again, surprising, because last game when they were getting ran over, it was also still a pretty small lead, because Seeker is still finding uh, these little bits of farm on the sides. Oh, Sarkshire. Yeah. Coach could be in trouble. Zai doesn't want to chase this. Could be a bit of a bait, though. Zai should be careful. Sochka, he's got his boys around him. Uh, the RP is back now, though, right? I mean, that was Seeker trying to take a fight when there was no RP. Oh, uh, and trying to find it. No Omni Slash. And yeah. that fight as well. So the 3k gold was in the ether for Anna, but now it's it's materialized. He has the Diffusal Blade. Yeah, indeed. The Diffusal Blade, plus in power. This jug packs a punch. Yeah, and uh, I, you mentioned it too, but how about Jerax those disarms on the TA? I mean, you just there's it's, nothing you can do. Until you have BKB, I mean, you're a Templar Assassin. Uh, you're absolutely worthless without uh, it, it, your right I mean, Exactly. You know, it, it's this hero that's got the same farm as Anna's Jug, but he's doing nothing in the fights because of Jerax. Now Roshan going down. OG smokes up, making sure they get the prime position around the pit to play with the counter plays. Mid one looks to lead in with the chains onto Seb on the back lines already. Look who's jumped in. Straight onto the backside. Topson, he's trying to burst down Yapsa. Yapsa will survive. Seb, post the RP. It's, it's only, only Puppy. puppy. So not necessarily a, a huge one here for OG, but still that fight on. Nice GA. Puppy able to limit a huge amount of the damage output from Anna, but still Yapsa will fall. Topson's back in with the jump on a Puppy. He's able to get away with the Heavenly Grace, though. Ice Pass, Soshka again, trapping them up, blocking the fights, making it so hard for Secret to get together. They've lost two. Topson's in with the jump. They're chasing down Nisha. Nisha's trying to hide in the trees. The avalanche from Topson clipping him. Can he get out of this? Oh, Ice Path again, forcing him to turn back. Toss is there. He's surrounded. Puppy cannot help him. Nisha dies. They just lose hero after hero, whilst OG stay alive as five. They can back up to the pit, and Secret, they're throwing bodies at them, <laughs> they but might it just, just isn't again. worth it. I mean, there must be a whirlpool or something in that river by the Roche pit, because it's just drawn Secret in, and OG are all too happy to see it happen. Uh, a poor start to that fight, really, for OG, honestly, when he couldn't burst down the line. They almost found an opportunity to turn around, but, you know, for everything else that Jerex has been doing this fight, and uh, through his whole game, the False Promise probably his least used ability, but sometimes it still comes in handy there, as uh, he's able to bail out Thompson from that engagement. I mean, really, yeah, and, and as you say, it, that is the, the big worry for Secret. As you say, that's a fight where a lot of things didn't go well for OG, but it didn't matter. Yep. They didn't burst down Yapsa at the start. Seb, RP's a solo Omni. They still win the fight very securely. They don't lose anyone. OG's able to now go back into the pit. And Secret this time, they're staying the hell away from here. They don't want to go there once again. Uh, we hope so, at least. Uh, yeah, it does seem that way as Nisha is walking out of the base, so not going to be coming over. And uh, it is ju it's just an Aegis, you know, it's uh, nothing too crazy, not worth losing 10 heroes over. Maybe just 8 was good. Got a couple items now coming out, as he said. Uh, we got a, a Maelstrom now finished up here for our Ember, so finally a little bit of extra damage here for mid one. And Thompson, that, that looks like an Aghanim's IC queued up. Good old Aghanim's tiny here in 2019. I mean, that's a, that's an interesting one. It's a Without the one. crit, it's... Sure, he's not got, yeah, he's not not got any sort of damage for it, yeah. It seems a little a little questionable. But hey, it looks cool. It does look very And hey, cool. it's a, I guess more follow-up to the RP. Well, it is the Magnus, that's yeah, true. Because that, the, that's yeah. the one way it does work, yeah. right? You empower the tiny, and then you don't necessarily need the crit. I'll see if we see some, some good plays come out with it. 
And you say very much sort of the... Oh, she's talking oh, she's so aggressive. Sasha's it's just the bait. I mean, that mid one's just dead. They just walk up and take the kill on the Ember. Yeah. As mid one, he, he's had a rough series. Game one, the Jara didn't look too hot and Ember Spirit... I mean, here, it's literally meant to be. It, it's not hard I mean, again. Mid one's a bully, right? He loves picking on support players. He likes just finding the back lines of the Zamper Spear and just killing them when they have nothing they can do. But for two games in a row now, yep. OG of these heroes that you just, you can't really bully. I mean, you're not going to 100 to 0 a Spirit Breaker, a Jakira, or an Oracle. And uh, mid one, of course, not even a farm Zamper Spear this game. He's far behind now. And we do have that Blade Mail that we, uh, we heard the panel mentioning as being a great answer to try and deal with that Empower. But of course, uh, if you're a juggernaut and you're omni-slashing, it's not going to help too much. So OG pushing the base. Fortifications used by Secret, but OG's going to stand their ground and keep pushing on. They have RP. Yeah. They have omni-slash level 18 on Anna as well. He can just sit here. Healing Ward, he's got the spin too if he wants. Try and drag him away. Nice use of the disarm as well, making sure that Anna doesn't end up hurting himself on the blade mount. Thompson's going to go in the combo. Keep them... Force back. They're taking the tier three tower. They're going to get it. That's the tier three down to 25 minutes in. Ice path as well. Catches out mid one. Will manage to remnant away. He's constant heals from Jerex, keeping Anna in perfect fighting shape. There's a jump again, Zai. It's time trying to drag in Seb. Ice path will be one. off the mark. They'll get the stun out from Yap. So to hold back Seb. Oh, Seb X with a false promise. As Jarex makes sure the Seb stays alive, Topson in with the jump, mid one has to remnant back. Being burst very low by the tiny combo, as Anna now starts to focus on the barracks. He has that Aegis for two and a half minutes, Zai goes in, blade mail combo, they should be able to kill him once they do. They'll get the Aegis out of the hands of Anna. Oh, Secret are playing so well here, they're dancing like ballerinas, Topson. but I think they're getting crushed. He's straight in on the back lines, there's the three-man avalanche, she's gonna head back with the blade fury. GA's gonna be used, but now Seb tries to get in, looks for the RP, but the insta-hex is there from Yapsor. He's out of mana as well, cannot get the RP off. Seb's in trouble, he's gone. They'll get Seb, now they'll look for more. The ice path though, Shokshka gets the three of them, and now the Omni Slash bouncing around them all, is killing them off. Puppy trying to get away, but Anna's got the damage. Two dead, three dead. Buyback straight away from Puppy, he's teeping in towards the racks. Shokshka will be able to hold him out and allow Anna to get out with the blade fury. Fury TP is oh, OG. They've just got to try and get it. out of there. He goes for the TP out, but they have the damage. Nisha will find it. So Secret will be able to defend those racks and push OG back. Honestly, they played that fight so well on the side of Secret, I have to say. I mean, they end up having to cost the uh, the buyback of Puppy there, but the way that they were all absorbing like 80% of their HP, and then they're able to get back and, and try and retreat, trying to waste these spells on the side of OG, try and uh, limit the resources they had left on that push. Very impressive stuff, but of course, Thompson just kind of waiting for his perfect moment to hop on in there. And uh, good job getting Seb down there, at the very least, after his buyback earlier. As Thompson closes in on his Aghanim Scepter, just about 1k away. Zai, he's gonna get a good few spins off here. What's the play, oh, more. Thompson's getting hurt pretty bad. Soshka's there, can he help out? He has the Ice Puff. Lang tops in to get a little bit farther away, but they have the control. Hex out from Yapsor to punish both of them. Soska and Topson will die for their attempts on mid. Secret get the jump off. Zai, help, team. All right, he'll be fine. Doesn't burn that hard. A secret certainly starting to fight back. After the initial defense, now getting out on the map, getting kills. Starting to catch back up in farm on these on these cores that have fell behind so far this game. I think... Uh... He's basically still just playing Slark. I mean, he's got a, a Manta stuck in there, but again, got ourselves a Diffusal, we get a Scotty. You can uh, obviously go uh, a bit different on your build when you have the power of the Magnus with you. See the scam from both sides, just catch them out. They know that they're right next to one another. There's smoke from Secret. It's a for nice ward too. It sees Seb. Let's see if Zai can get him with a jump. He will be able to catch out Anna. See if Seb can help out. He's looking for the angle. He's going to go for the skew initiation. RP's down. Catches the two of them. Can Anna have the follow up? He's trying to go in. Does not have the Omni Slash available. Doesn't need it to take down Puppy. The ice path control from Sosh is enough. Oh, it's Hobson. Misses. He's got, he's got another remnant. Will be able to keep himself far enough away. Anna's still trying to chase, though. See if Topson gets any sort of vision for a toss in. As they do not have any high ground. So Mint One will be able to walk his way back to the safety of his jungle. Yeah, another RP when the Jakiro's not there. He's TPing in, so no chance to follow up here. Um, it, it does help, of course, defend Thompson and even perhaps secure that kill on the puppy, but it does also mean that there will be a retreat here from Secret. Yeah, OG can have this 40-second window to, to try and do as much as they can possible. Nisha and Yaps are going to try for a bit of split pressure to sort of break OG's attention away from getting as much pushed in whilst puppy is dead. Yeah, Yaps are even having to just cover Nisha there. 
maybe create a kill opportunity if they uh, send fewer resources home to try and defend. So another tier three they're taking, Zai. Goes for the lead in. Instant protection offered by Jax. Zana still has the healing ward as well to Zana rely on. Is still bottom. He's hitting that tower. He's he got the tower. Fast. That's He's a tier three. With that death, so he does mount through they're, the building. They're looking for TPs. Ember's great at canceling these. Chains are only going to catch onto the creeps, and already Nisha's just going to settle with the tower. He backs off. That's a lot of creep damage, though, I'm sure. They look like they're really going to the buildings. They're taking it. I mean, it's, it won't quite kill it, but it's half the HP. We'll regen back up, of course, and Anna is able to get in. Yeah. Push the creeps back. And level 20 as well on the jug. But yeah, Nisha going full in on the damage build as well, as we can see. Deso, and then the pike is his only sort of saving item after the jumping in from the, the Blink Dagger, not opting for the BKB this no, game. No, he's really delaying it. I mean, he's just counting on Puppy, basically. Like he's counting on Puppy and, yeah, make, making sure that he can sort of find a way to get into the fights without that disarm from Jerex oh, doing smoking, too much. The Courier's coming with the Aghanims. Wouldn't mind... Well, I mostly just want to see him use the Aghanims. That's a, it's a very selfish reason, but I'd like for him to go back for this Courier right now as Secret prep themselves in the tree line. Zai looking to be the, the big counter initiation here as they try and scout with the traps. Do they have vision on this courier? Mm, it's gonna squeak past that mid ward, it looks like. Yeah, they do ping it. And there it is, the tiny Aghanims. So the give this man Aghanims. the empower. So if uh, you guys haven't seen the tiny Aghanims, of course, it is a, a channeling spell where you select a little AoE and you toss all of the trees around you into all this of AoE. The trees. And it does a lot of damage. Um, and so you really want to get the Empower on him because it, it's a little lackluster without crit or without Empower, I will say. But of course, if you're RPing and catching three heroes, then oh, it's yeah. always going to look good. Easy target to just throw a barrage of, of trees at. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't work on buildings. Uh, no, so before that, you start that, spamming that, would that in chat, be broken. that would be very broken. So don't expect that to happen. That's how you end a game, though. I mean, that would be quite excellent. Bottom lane, again, the push, the pressure's in here. Uh, this is not the Deso Ember we saw doing uh, similarly the other day. It will just be a Maelstrom one, so of course not nearly as threatening here. But uh, it does bring back Ana here, and uh, we'll have to start thinking about these uh, Boots of Travels coming out. But we have a Blinking Magnus. We do now, Seb. Ready to, to make those jump plays. I mean, already we've seen him try, you know, he really goes for it with the skewers. He's, he, he's pretty he good, too. He is not too. afraid to just, to get, just go straight into the, to the four of them. Now with a Blink Dagger, yeah, Secret have to be careful with their positioning because a lot of the time they have been grouped up in situations that Seb will have the chance to, to get two, three heroes quite easily in the fights. Obviously Puppy is the, the big one to catch. A GA could put a, a good stop to the amount of damage that OG can follow up with during that RP, but at the same time, as long as Soska's there with yep. a good combo, that extra duration and the fact that he'll still have a lot of magical damage to offer, uh, could render the GA sort of less effective. No real vision here on that Radiant side for Secret. Uh, the best vision they have is honestly watching OG destroy the traps, but you can see all of these Radiant sentries just spammed everywhere to make sure the Observer Wards aren't going to be there for Secret. So the smoke is not going to amount to anything. Butterfly done for Anna, his farm. Continuing at uh, epic proportions. In one, finally able to get to the next big item done. Octarine is there. They'll have those low cooldowns to play around with. As OG are about to head into Secret once more. Secret. Yeah, there is an Invis rune on Zai, but there's also a gem on Seb. So who gets the jump first, Puppy? Hiding in the trees, Zai. Oh, he's actually alone here. He's going to go for it. Anna needs help now. Is he going to be there in time, Seb? Skewers in. Won't be in range for any sort of nice RP, split. but it has managed to take them away and keep Anna alive. Anna. We'll be fine for now, Seb. Losing the majority of his mana, though. Yaps are able to, to suck it away. Where are the trees? See who they can find. They know that Secret split up. Zai and Puppy straight out with the TPs. Zai's out. Puppy will make it as well. They'll be able to disengage and get away from OG sweep across the map. Ooh, Secret. I mean, that Delta split on the skewering and Seb. He had to blink because he was so far away. So he had to blink first and then go for the skewer. And uh, that gave them enough warning. Yeah, well, of course, yes. Just able to make it in time, though, before Anna. Gets it, got taken out because Anna was in a little bit of a dangerous situation there. They were bringing him very low. OG still maintaining that 5k lead. And uh, we talked about that first Roche wasn't all too much, right? Just the Aegis and did help secure them a tier 3 earlier on for OG. But now we're into the Aegis and Cheese possibilities now uh, for the side of OG. Thompson. The puppy tried to go for the follow up Fortune's end, but puppy able to, to get out with that help. 
of the Hurricane Pike of Nisha, forcing him down to the low. As Oji will step into the pit, secret. I tried to contest this before, wasn't too sex successful. Yeah, it's a lot harder this time too, like the blink actually there on the Magnus. And then they're taking this down so quickly with the damage that Ana has. Secret, they are smoked, Shadow but... Blade there too on Jerax. That's an interesting one. Yeah, no way Secret can get this in time. As OG just take the Roche down far too quickly, Secret are not going to be given the opportunity to jump in. Aegis and Cheese secured by OG. And what's the call here? Just retreat completely? Maybe hope someone comes mid alone? They are still hiding around here, Secret. OG, they're heading in from the low ground. Soshka's going to be the one to be turned off first. Nisha jumps for the back lines. We'll be able to two-shot down Jarex. Jarex buys back immediately. Soshka with a combo. The ice path, it causes issues for Zai. Zai is dead. A second buyback comes out from Soshka. They're throwing everything into this fight. Zai is bought back as well, but Puppy critted down by Anna. There's two dead on dead Secret that haven't opted to buy back. Both Yaps are on Puppy deciding that this fight is over. We don't want to get back in yet. OG with their own buybacks. Jarrett's coming in and Soshka as well. Ready to help them force straight down mid. They still have that Aegis picked up by Anna to work with. Now another buyback. Puppy realizes that he's needed for the defense. Has the GA ready to go. Topson tries to get a quick pick as he jumps past the racks. Anna focusing the structures. And there are the trees, but only a few on the high ground to work with. See mid one. He's leading in. The taunt from Zai will be able to peel Anna far away from his teammates. He makes the run back towards them, looks towards mid one. Remnants there ready for him to jump back towards the safety of the tier fours. Fortification out from Secret, but this mid melee racks looking to go down. Topson jumping in towards Nisha. Nisha able to get up with a refractor bleak step. In with the RP. Oh, he He's caught out mid one. Mid one dragged back. Mid one's dead. Has buyback available. May have to use it and will do so. Wants to get back in this fight as OG there diving. Thompson is so protected though, holding cheese, holding on to uh, the help there from the False Promise, and Jarex just lurking in the back. And mid one's in, he's got to be careful, he did buy back for this one, Ice Path off the mark from Soshka, jumping from Thompson, has the combo, not enough damage to kill off Sai. instant Hex comes out from Yapso, Thompson's on his way back out, he's out of mana. As OG, they got what they came for, they got that Rax. So well played defensively there from OG, I mean I know they're the ones that are approaching the high ground, but for the vast majority of that fight, Jarex was smoked. Like, that's how far back he's playing. He's still getting all his spells off, getting all his saves. And there's just, what's the recourse to Secret if you can't figure out where he is, right? Even if you have this Observer Ward on the high ground, he's stepping within range, and they have no idea. Just playing a totally safe game back there. And uh, Thompson diving a little deep a couple times, but knowing that he has the cheese, knowing he has the backup there uh, from Jerax. So. I mean, it, it does the job. It makes it very hard for Secret to get in position to actually defend the racks with the way that Thompson just throws his body at them. Yeah. Everyone just kind of panics, right? You just instantly start clicking back and... Don't want to get tossed back into the entirety of OG. Yeah, sort of bravely showing his pres uh, presence there as Thompson jumps in, finds Nisha, but another good blink there with the refractions. As Thompson will continue to, to try and chase this. Omni slash at the ready. No RP though for Seb. Still on cooldown, and Thompson definitely going to be wanting to spend that money. Start to build into the Daedalus. He's got 3,600 gold. That he's holding on to it at the moment as this tiny. But 8k lead. Yeah, OG. I, I think they want a bit more. Two minutes left on this Aegis. You know, it's very tempting to try and get high ground yeah. again. They exposed racks on the bottom lane. The bottom lane it has pushed out pretty far, but they have got the mid lane coming in against Secret. I don't know if they're even gonna get that though. Time is uh is dropping there, and of course you just have TA running top, you still have this Ember they have to deal with. Or Nisha going for drastic tactics. The Divine Rapier has been queued up. Really doesn't want to go for the BKB this game. Feels confident in the ability to fight without it, or yeah. maybe just feels that it's a necessity. He just has to make sure that he's two-shotting, one-shotting, of course, some of these heroes when he has the Rapier. Yeah, he doesn't get disarmed or anything. Yeah. I mean, just again, just the, get uh, in, get a kill before any reactive play can come in from OG. It's pretty much all on Puppy. It's just so hard to deal with now, Ghost Scepter and Shadowblade with the Aether Lens. Affirmative indeed. We'll see Anna's farm. Just like in the last game as his Slark just leaps and bounds ahead of the average and a DD rune he's to go as well. He's got Moonshire consumed. He's a, a little unusual. He's got it all. This early? He has got it all, this jug. As OG, I mean, 38 minutes in. They, they're getting closer to being on the verge of 2-0-ing Team Secret out of the major. An impressive feat for any team. Absolutely. Um, and, and, uh, especially for one with 80% power. Exactly. Sorry, sorry. Sasha's like 10%. Well, okay, he's half a no-tail. Uh, sorry, maybe not. No-tail's pretty amazing, you know.
So, I mean, so, so, Soska's Jakira. Uh, no, he's been playing very There's well. There's Jakira. Maybe if they get through, we'll see some uh, respect banning for Soska in future drafts against them, because OG continuing this lead. They're up to the high ground. They're looking for another set of racks. Only 10 seconds left on the Aegis. They'll have to play with that in mind, Anna. He wants to commit and will be able to do so and get the racks before the Aegis is gone. I mean, there's no point fighting now. I mean, unless OG are going to dive in and give you something really good, this is where you just back up a secret. For a secret to make the swing around, it, it really does rely on the catch from Zai. Puppy this is keeping a good moment alive. for secret, honestly. Like, they don't have the Aegis anymore. But there's the combo. OG's got that RP. Anna just heading in onto the high ground. Starting to hit away at the tier 3 tower. Mid 1. Trying to commit, but the micro is there with a the healing ward. Jeez, from our perspective, he's actually so alone. Like, he, he probably could have died there. But for Secret, of course, they're not going to know just how far away some of those resources were for him. I mean, Anna's in again. Every useless blade fury being used to safely cover himself as he hits the tower. Zai will get the drag back with the Berserker's call. Cool. False promise reaches there from Jax. Make sure that he can't be burst. Jarrett, Sep. On the back, he gets the two of them with the RP trap back into the Omni Slash. Oh, They're gonna get the three of them. Thompson makes the jump as well at the same time. There'll be a buyback for Nisha, but Zai and Puppy are dead for 70 seconds, and their buybacks are still on cooldown. They want Megas. They cannot come back to defend this. Oh, OG. Just standing forward. They've got the Megas. Thompson's in. He's on top of Yapsor. I don't see any coming back from Secret no, from this position. The trees are out. Yapsor taken down by the Axe Tiny. There's a buyback from Yapsor 50 seconds before Secret's going to have the full roster back up. As OG absolutely doing it. We'll see Nisha, Yapsor. They're going to catch in the middle lane, but there's so much back up here. Seb with the skewer apart, separating him from Topson. Topson's fine. In fact, Topson, he's straight back in. Tosses Nisha back on towards mid one. Nisha will turn to try and get the damage up, but Jarex disarms the TA. Nisha, he's got nothing to offer. They're chasing him down. He's surrounded. Another toss from Topson. Nisha's dead. Two minutes, no buyback. Mid one, he's dancing around. The ruse there from Jarex. Ember Spirit caught in place. Anna's there with a the chase. GG is called an OG takedown team secret.